so nice to see these guys again. I was starting to wonder if I was going to get close to one. But, uh, yeah, this is just amazing. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm back up in Scotland and I'm in the Cairngorms National Park. And I know I say this in, I think pretty much every single video, but I'm gonna be out looking for one of my favorite subjects today. And uh, you're probably thinking dippers, brown hairs, otters. <laughs> it's not, I know I say, I know I say they're all favorites. And actually in truth, I just love them all. I don't actually have a favorite, but this one it, it's mountain hares and I love them. And I think the fact that it's so difficult to find these guys and you have to come all the way up here um, to kind of get them is really what makes it so fun for me. So I slept in the van last night um, over towards Aviemore and I've made the drive up to this valley this morning. And um, yeah, I've got about an hour's walk ahead of me uphill um, to hopefully where we'll find the hares. Well, where I found them before anyway. Um, We've got a beautiful day, like it's, there's not a cloud in the sky, it's absolutely stunning. Um, but it's so windy um, and it's going to make talking to you guys quite difficult, I think. So I've kind of sheltered in this old ruin here, like an old shepherd hut or something, um, just to get out of the wind so that I can talk to you. Sadly, I got here about two days later than I would have liked and all the snow, well most of the snow started to melt. But there's still a few small patches, so if we're really lucky, you know, we might be able to find a hair on some of the snow, but um, I'm not really that fussed, to be honest. I don't have any particular images in mind. I just really, really, really hope I get to see a mountain hare today. So um, I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna start my climb up now and I'll speak to you guys when I get to the top. Whoa, so I completely forgot how difficult that walk can be. Um, it's funny because when I set off, I was down at the van and um, a couple of people had come down off the mountains here and they said that you could barely stand at the top. And even by down by the van, it was so windy. So I did that piece of the camera um, where I was talking about how windy it was, had all my layers on, started walking and about a third of the way up, I was just so hot, the wind just died. And uh, yeah, the sun came out, it was just so hot. So. 
I feel extremely unfit at the moment as well, which probably doesn't help. But yeah, I've made it up now to where, um, well, an area where I've seen hares a few times in the past. So what I'm gonna do is sit here and just chill for a bit, um, refuel, layer up, and just keep an eye out to see if I can see any hares kind of lolloping around. Um, me purely just walking up may have spooked a couple. So the longer I sit here and the slower you are with things like hares, um, the more comfortable they get with you being in their environment. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Desperate for some water and possibly even a chocolate bar as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that and then uh, we'll see if we can find some. After a quick refuel, I decided to head on up to the top of the mountain, where the light was much nicer and where I'd seen plenty of hares previously. After an hour of searching and only one quick encounter with a hare that didn't want to stick around, I was starting to think that I was going to be returning home empty handed. So I decided to move back down to the other side of the mountain, when suddenly I spotted a hare in the distance. Now it was just about trying to get close enough to capture some images. Okay, so I've just found a hare. Um, it's quite far away, to be honest. But the wind is blowing in its direction, so I need to be quiet. Um, I want to try and sneak a lot closer. At the moment, it's just hunkered down, ears back. Um, in the heather, just not really doing anything. But I'm going to take my camera and I want to try and get as close as I can. Um, I'll just keep watching its behaviour. If it looks stressed by me, I'll just stop and let it get comfortable and keep moving again. Right, I'm going to give it a go. It's still over there, let's just have a look. shooting with the tripod um, so that I can get some video footage but it does make it a bit more difficult to get close and to be subtle so I might have to uh, ditch a tripod soon and just lie down and move a bit closer on my belly but uh, it's so nice to see these guys again I was starting to wonder if I was going to get close to one but uh, yeah this is just amazing
watching this hair now for quite a while and uh, I'm able to sit up behind the camera and tripod and uh, also talk to you guys because it seems completely unbothered by the fact that I'm here. Um, with that said, it's rather frustrating because it's just not doing much at all. Um, it's almost too, too laid back so um, yeah I've kind of been here for quite a while and I've been waiting for it to like get up and stretch or have a yawn or start feeding but it's just done nothing. I've managed a couple of images and as ever I'll pop them up at the end. Annoyingly I'm gonna have to get down off the mountain because uh, it's starting to get dark. It's nearly sunset and I've probably got about a 45 minute walk down to the van so uh, I think I'm probably gonna have to call it there to be honest. <laughs>